Our third problem will be to determine the internal forces at point C um, on the um, in the pipe shown. We have a horizontal an elbow with a force applied at the elbow and then we have a vertical component of pipe and we can see we have a couple as well as a force uh, applied at point B. We have the magnitudes of our forces and couples, the magnitudes and directions, and these are shown in vector format and that is how we will solve this problem. Here I have started to create the free body diagram uh, including the distances and the coordinate system and the body free of its surroundings and I will go ahead and uh, continue by just uh, including the applied forces uh, when I do that, I have a force 2 here. We'll show that as a vector. Another force 1 here. And then we also have a couple. shown there which is vertical. And then at C we have our internal forces and so we're going to, have, we're going to show the three uh, components of force in the x direction we'll call it Cx and the y direction Cy and it's pointed to the negative y direction and then Cz in the vertical direction and then we'll do the same thing with our couples since it acts like a fixed support uh, we have um, no motion in the XYZ directions and no rotation in the XYZ directions. So we'll have MX, MY, and notice my double arrows that I use for um, couples. And again, that's a preference of mine, not necessary. And then MZ. So we will sum our forces to determine our internal forces at point C. So the sum of the forces is equal to zero. Again, we are doing this with a vector solution. So we have our force vector one plus our force vector two. And then we will write our um, force vector C, which is our resultant of Cx plus Cy plus Cz. And those three force vectors are equal to zero. Well, we have F1, which is minus 24 i hat, minus 10 k hat, that's in pounds. And then we have C2, oh, I'm sorry, F2, which is minus 80 i hat, that's in pounds. And then we have C, which is the components of Cx, Cy, and Cz. Cx, i hat. This can be a minus Cy because it's pointing negative. Cy, j hat. Plus Cz, k hat. Just enough room. And the sum of all these are equal to zero. Then at this point, we can just... Um, isolate our IJKs. So in the X direction, which is the I direction, we have a minus 24, minus 80, and a CX. So minus 24 I hat, or actually we don't need the I hat, but minus 24 pounds, minus 80 pounds plus CX is equal to zero. CX is equal to a minus, actually it's positive, positive 104 pounds in the y direction we have which is j we have a minus cyj or minus cy is equal to zero so we have cy is equal to zero and the z direction which is our k hats we have a cz and a minus 10k so we can, by observation, see that CZ is equal to 10 pounds. 
Now we need to sum our moments and what we'll do is we're going to sum our moments about point C here and the sum of our moments about point C is going to equal to zero and so our sum of our moments we'll put that in parentheses about point C is equal to zero of course this is in vector format and so what we'll have here is we'll have M that's our vector up here, our moment vector. Then we'll add our resultant of mx, my, and mz, and we'll just call that mc. Then we're also going to have a vector of force caused by f1, and so we're going to have m1, and then we're going to have another vector of, uh, I'm sorry, a moment of force is what I mean to say. Another moment of force by F2. We'll call that M2. So the sum of those three are equal to zero. So M is equal to, and that's given in our problem, is equal to a minus 30K hat pound feet. A resultant at C is equal to mx i hat and it's going to be a minus my because it's a negative y direction. That's a j hat plus mz k hat and that's positive. And then we have M1. Again, M1 is our moment of force caused by F1. And so that's going to equal to R1, our position from C. We can call that point 1. Call this point 2 if we'd like. So this is going to be R1. This will be R2. So moment of force M1 is going to be R1 cross F1. And then M2, similarly, will be R2 cross force vector 2. So let's look at M1. So M1, again, is equal to R1 cross F1. And um, F1 is given as well as F2, but R1 is this vector right here, and it's basically this vector, which is 2j hat plus 3k hat. Of course, that's in feet. And to um, solve these, uh, to solve this uh, cross product, what we will do is we will use uh, the determinant method. And we're going to have i, j, k in the top row. Second row, we are going to have 0i. 2j, it's this portion, and then 3k. And then the lower row, we're going to have f1, which would be minus 24, 0j, minus 10k, and that is going to be in pound feet. Again, this is r, and this is f. Now to reduce this determinant, the way I like to do is basically make myself a couple of parentheses where I have i hat, then I'll have a minus j hat, and plus k hat, depending on how large the numbers are, is gives me how much room I want to make. And then starting off with the i hat, I look at 2 times a negative 10 minus a 3 times 0. So 2 times minus 10 minus 
a 3 times 0. That's my i hat. And j hat will be a 0 times a negative 10 minus this 3 times negative 24. That's my j hat. And then finally for k hat, I look at these two um, numbers. I get 0 times 0, and then minus a 2 times a negative 24. So when I calculate this, I have a minus 20i hat. It looks to be a minus, I think it's 72, j hat. And then a plus 48k hat. And let's include our units, which is pound feet. Now we solve M2, which is equal to our position vector R2, which is from C2.2 here. Cross F2, which is given. R2 is equal to 2 feet in the j direction, so 2 j hat. And m2 is equal to 2 j cross a minus 80 k pound feet. And that results in 160 magnitude in the k direction pound feet. We have our moments all summarized here. We've got our couple that was applied. We have our internal uh, reaction at point C. That's the resultant. And then we have our moments of force, M1 and M2. And so just as we did with our forces, we can look at our IJK or XYZ directions. And so for x, we have mx and minus 20. So we'll sum those. mx minus 20 is equal to 0. mx is equal to 20 pound-feet. That's the units for all these moments. In the y direction, what do we have? We have our j. So we have a minus my, a minus 72. sum of those equals zero, so my is equal to negative 72 pound-feet. And then for the z direction, we look at our k components, we have minus 30. We have a positive mz, our last unknown, plus 48, and then plus 160. The sum of those four components is equal to zero. So we have mz is equal to a negative 178 pound feet. Thank you for watching.